Hey guys, this is the first video of a Simple is Best series. How many videos will there be? I have no idea. I'm just going to go with what I feel and the ideas that I have. Now, the first painting I'm doing today, I will be filling up the whole canvas with black paint and then I'm just going to pour a little bit a little bit of paint on it and then just blow on that paint. That's all. I'm really going, there's probably going to be some blank space around it and I'm trying this for the first time and I just thought that maybe going for simple would make a huge difference, you know, because a lot of people prefer simpler paintings in their homes. So um, the colors that I'm using, I'm, I'm using leftovers. I'm using the orange and the, the yellow from my last video I did yesterday. And I'm using some magenta from that big painting I made from another video. And I have black, which is a mix of the Martha Stewart here. I haven't bought, in, uh, I haven't bought art supplies since forever, so I'm just going through all my stuff. That was a fail. And um, Artist Loft. So the black is a mix of those two. So I will just set this camera up properly so you guys can see and I am going for this. <laughs> so I am working on a 12 by 24 black canvas that is a used canvas that I washed it off so that's why you can see like all these little marks here and I have my black here. I'm just gonna mix it up a little, a little shot. Now I hope I have enough to cover the whole thing. This is scary. Oh my gosh, do I have enough? I'm gonna just try and spread it out as best as I can without wasting too much. All right, so while I'm doing this, I just wanna say that to those of you who have uh, visited my website either uh, today or yesterday, I'm aware that I have a little security certificate um, issue that I hadn't renewed properly, but I've been on that this morning for like two hours with the freaking company. And the website should be all secured by um, tomorrow. So if you get that pop-up when you click on the link, it's normal. I think the Martha Stewart paint is going to help the artist loft that's not as black to be like more black. All right, so I'm just gonna do the, the rest with my fingers. Now, I'm leaving my paints a little bit thicker than usual. Just a tad, I just didn't add as much water. I know they were pre-mixed already, but when you use your paints the next day or a few days after, usually it has thickened up and you have to add more water to get that right consistency. But I just, I didn't really, I added water to the magenta because I've had it for a few more days, but the, the yellow and the orange from yesterday, I just le left them the same. All right, I can't see on the other side, but that, that looks pretty good there. It's pretty reflective in the video. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Give this a little stir. Yeah, my paint is pretty thick. So I want it to go off the canvas. All 
I've seen this done with resin and it is awesome. There's an artist in my uh, Facebook group called Let It Flow who does this and it's awesome on a black background. But I hate working with resin. A lot of people have asked me to make a resin video and I will eventually show how I give a resin coat to my paintings. I just haven't gotten to that yet. It spreads out so much that I think I'm just going to go with that for now. Alright, once again, the colors aren't that good on the camera. That's kind of cool and creepy. When you blow pretty hard on the paint, the paints intertwine and it makes little cells there. magenta this painting is gonna go look is gonna look good like on the other side looking like standing up This is how I got cells the first time when I started out the, at the beginning. I used to blow on the paint and see them appear and I'd be like, oh my god. You can create like the shapes that you want. You see those little thingies there? It's like a little wave. Who knows if this is, if it, well, if this is gonna stay like this? This is kind of cool. Another little wave there. You know what guys, I think I'm going to leave it like that. 
although I want to add more. Be strong and back away, right? Oh my gosh, that is so cool and creepy. I don't know if you guys ever have ever seen the videos of those people who blow ink in water and it's like it creates this smoky effect kind of. I, I find it kind of looks like that. All right, Mel, back away. So I am backing away, you guys, and I will turn this over to show you. All right, guys, so check this out. Super cool and creepy. I'm much preferring the colors um, in real. The orange is darker. Everything is darker and much less... Uh, maybe if I get closer... All right, I'm gonna show you from the other side. Yeah, I'm really liking it that side. If I turn the camera around to get it on the longer side, it's gonna screw up my video. Check that out. Smokish effect on black background. Trial number one. Check out the little creepy cells happening oh my god that looks so pink instead of dark magenta all right so i hope you guys liked my first simple is best video i have a few more ideas and i will be experimenting some more all right bye guys